Oh my God, can I show this on air? Greetings, buttholes. My name is James J. Reeves, and you are watching TFB TV Mailroom number 20. So it's February, Mardi Gras is right around the corner. Can't wait for that. Gonna be a nonstop blackout sesh. And that means the best part about that is not just Mardi Gras, but a beat of strawberry season. So I've talked about this in years past. I will always have an Abita strawberry on TFB TV mailroom when they come out. And a lot of people say, oh, strawberry beer, you know, is it, is it sweet? Does it taste like, I don't know, Kool-Aid or whatever? It, it's actually really good. I swear to God, I think I've told this story before. I hosted my brother's bachelor party over here a few years ago. And we went to the store. I said, guys, you got to try this stuff out. They thought I was an idiot. So they buy like a bunch of Michelob Light, Miller Light, Bud Light, whatever. And then I buy a six pack of Vita strawberry. That thing's gone instantly. We go back to the grocery store. I'm not kidding. Like less than an hour later and buy every single Abita strawberry that they have. So trust me, I know that there are some of you viewers out there, you've had Abita strawberry before and you feel the same way I do about it. So let everybody else know in the comments. Cheers. Moving on to general business and announcements. So as you guys know, we do Patreon uh, raffle. You're automatically entered into if you're a Patreon supporter. At the five or $10 level, we give away a free gun every month. Last month was a Mossberg MC1, which just came out. Um, and, and we're getting up there in terms of patrons. We've got 800 and some odd patrons now. So once we get to 1,000, I wanna make sure you guys are getting a good value here. So when we get to 1,000, we're going to be giving away two guns a month. In addition to that, we're still giving away two blue Alpha Gear belts a month. And then you have the random flash giveaways where I give stuff away. So go to Patreon, sign up. Oh yeah, and you get patches. You know, you're gonna get something. If you sign up, you might win something, you might not win something, but at the end of the day, you can get patches. You will get patches that you can only receive through Patreon. You can't buy them, our TFB TV patches. You can only get them through Patreon, so sign up that way. All right, enough about business. Let's look at the mail. All right, we're gonna start out with an interesting one. This one grabbed my attention. It was delivered on January 7th, and it says it's from Kay. And I don't know if you guys know about Kay, but saying that Kay is doing something, that's like saying like, I got a package from Al-Qaeda. Oh, one member of Al-Qaeda doesn't speak for all of Al-Qaeda. And you know, I think probably there are a lot of members of Al-Qaeda that are on K, but let's not get too far afield here. The point is, allegedly, this is a package from K, a rogue member probably. Let's see what we got. Hello, James. Thank you for your help and support with us commandos and for being one of the few good lawyers in the world. Thank you very much, actually. We know K gets a bad rap, but most of us are totally normal dudes, that's true, that love guns and memes, and we bring a weird and humorous, a weird and humorous to the gun community like no other, you're an idiot. Uh, speaking of which, there's a second letter in the box that was written by K. Every person, oh God, I know this, uh, posted one word that made up the letter, give it a read or don't. I'm sure it's going to be totally normal and fine for me to read on air and not going to need to be redacted or censored at all. We hope you enjoy the present. I, I, I do. I'm looking at it right now and it's freaking awesome. We worked on getting the design perfect for a day or two before we printed it and it looks great. It does. We look forward to seeing it being used in a future video. It will be. And we hope you enjoy the full semi-automatic 30 round high capacity assault magazine clip. P.S. Have a look at the bottom of the mag. LOL. Love. Colonel Monty Battle Jesus. Guys, I really appreciate that. All right, so I know the names at the bottom of the sheet and without giving away too much detail, uh, help these guys bust a scammer. And in fact, I'm gonna do a video on that soon. We've busted quite a few scammers in TFB TV. We've put two guys in prison. Um, I'm serious. So I, I need to like get all the documents and do like a full video, like a TFB TV got scammed video where we sent these assholes to jail. Check this out. How rad is this? This is probably the best thing I've ever received on TFB TV. You probably know what that blue sticker is. For rectal use only, I will. Okay, so here's the letter, uh, crowd written by Kay. Oh my God. Dear James Daddy, please take my virginity post Alexi Glock nudes, 40 S&W Glock sucks. Shill literally who are you, big dick hello. 1911 is better. You're a fag. Send me your sweaty shorts to sniff. Where are the nudes you promised me? Who is James Reeves? 
where is my father? You misspelled my name. This is written by Kay, so it's incoherent autism. Please tell John Wick Central Access Relock Accident. Please shoot yourself with your Glock 40. Why is everybody in the gun community fat? Great question. That of all the things crank of. Not right now. God, but. Um, why is everyone in the gun community fat? That face when Alex C won't ever be your range BF. Much love, K, aka 4chan's weapons board. Guys, thanks a ton, really. I always love hearing from you guys. I do lurk. Um, I don't trip, but I lurk. Um, and thank you for these stickers. That was way better than I expected. I, I was half expecting that to be uh, either feces or bomb or both. All right, Violent Little Machine Shop. I know these guys. The next time you think of greeting cards or hookers, think of Violent Little. I like the cut of your jib. This is the coolest patch ever. Do you see what it is? Oh, this is nice. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Yanni? Y Yan? Yanni? Nate, Emily, and Munson. That's a very nice card. Thanks, guys. What do we got here? Oh, uh, this is cute. Uh, I'm your Huckleberry stencil. This is really clever. Collector's edition dick ribbon. Do I get a dick medal also? Or just a dick ribbon? God, those are some gross dicks. As you see here, a Brad Pitt. This is from um, Inglorious Bastards. Bon Giorno. Um, it's funny because Lindsay thought that I was sent this for a reason. Uh, the first time Lindsay and I went to Italy together, uh, you know, I don't like to be the stereotypical American. I don't like going over to Italy or to France and not trying to say like bonjour or uh, speak to them in, in their own language, at least give it a shot, right? Because that's what you hear about, the chief complaint is Americans come over and they think that you should speak English, which I think if everybody spoke English, it'd be a lot easier, but I get it. I get it, right? So we go over to Italy and I'm trying to do like, bon, what is it, buongiorno, and what, what's the other one, Lens? Yeah, so like I tried to say like buongiorno, uh, grazie, ciao, all that whenever I'm over there uh, to try to not be the stereotypical American. Um, and so we go to this parking lot in Monterosso, I believe, and we go and we pull in and, you know, I, you know, I give this guy like a hearty buongiorno and, you know, try my best, right, try my best. And this guy shakes his head at me and is like, you know, he says, oh, English is better for you, you know, whatever, in his Italian accent. And it really pissed me off, and I've hated Italians ever since. So actually, this is really funny that, uh, that this came in. Lens thought that you guys sent this in as a result of that story. I don't really hate Italians, but it was like, it definitely made an impression. We'll say that. The folks over at Beretta are actually really nice, and they probably wouldn't make fun of me for saying buongiorno or the way I say it. All right, Chiappa Rhino Fan Club from Zimmerman Dynamics. I actually love these guys, and I get a lot of crap for, like, I like the Chiappa Rhino. I've had, I had this discussion today with somebody, in fact, where it's like, I like it design-wise. I think it, like, it works pretty well. Um, I, I think I've said a lot of good things about it in the past, so people think that I'm like a huge Chiappa Rhino fan, which, I mean, I think they're good. You know, like, I, I like them, but um, now I guess I'm president of the fan club, though. Thank you for the stickers, guys. And by the way, I, I met, I say one of you as if there's, like, more than one of you, and that's probably the dude that I met at SHOT Show is, like, the dude and the only dude. Uh, most likely that's the case, but met him at SHOT Show and actually got a really awesome, um, got this sticker in patch form. Albert Defense, I know you too. Uh, James, although I and my colleagues at Zimmerman Dynamics strongly disagree with your stance on the Taurus Judge and similar 410 bore revolvers, we appreciate the advancements you've made in promoting pocket pistol training and tactics. I personally appreciate the humor you've brought to the channel since taking it over. The Christmas special has become a favorite. Good, and I love doing it. I've spent the last few months designing products for and launching albertdefense.com. This is my attempt at combining firearms and punk rock music, two passions that have stuck with me for the last 20 years. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, social media and the internet and guns has made shit like uh, you've got people who now can mix guns and punk rock music. Um, you've got way too much guns and anime, in my opinion. It's really allowing the culture to flourish, and uh, it's not, not always a good thing. We offer high quality stickers and apparel for the next generation of gun guys that don't fit the traditional mold. You're speaking my language. I've enclosed a few Albert Defense sticker designs as well as a sticker collaboration with our colleagues over at Zimmerman Dynamics. If your viewers are interested in these stickers or the apparel we offer, they can check us out at albertdefense.com or on Instagram at albert underscore 
defense. That's, again, I really have appreciated in the past like 10 years or so, the way that the gun community has evolved and it's not, you don't have like the traditional mold that you only used to get whenever you went to like the gun range or the gun store. So this is awesome. With love, Albert Redacted, President Albert Defense, Director of 410 Tactics and Load Development, Zimmerman Dynamics. Thanks a ton for writing in, guys. Los Banos, California, Bongiorno. Dear James, from behind enemy lines in California, I'm a retired California Highway Patrol officer that spent 27 years serving the wacky citizens of California. I started my career carrying a revolver and ended with an auto. That's awesome. I had the good fortune of only having to fire my duty weapon once to dispatch a wounded cow. No shit. Enclosed is a shoulder patch for you. I had reservations of sending the patch, but I figured you, since you wear extra small shorts like the dude from the Castro District in San Francisco, <laughs> you're worthy of the patch. I've been to the Castro District. I get the joke and don't appreciate it. Sincerely, Matt A. P.S. I thoroughly enjoy Kat's cameos in the videos. See, I love stuff like this. Um, I, I don't know if you guys know, you could probably imagine that our demographic, we're like, 18 to 34 year olds like that is where tfp tv that's like 60 or 70 percent of our traffic but i've actually talked to a lot of uh, retired cops and old cops who i would think would want nothing to do with this channel um, but it's really awesome whenever i get mail like this from retired police officers veterans first responders we're always really appreciative i know we've got a sense of humor around here we joke around a lot but we love you guys and it really humbles me to know that you have uh, guys that have actually been in the line of duty uh, for decades watching the program so that's really cool matt thanks a ton for writing in all right last one ah <coughs> Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. No name. Box in a box. You could have just sent this box. Probably would have saved you a lot on postage. James, you'll find in this box a custom-made AR-15 grip. It's really something special with one other only in existence. I hope you like it. I personally crafted it with your taste in beer in mind. Try not to be too rough on it as it's only 3D printed. Lord knows I've broken several of them already with too much pressure. Thank you for the warning. I can be pretty rough with the stuff around here on the channel. With love from a fellow YouTuber, blogger, firearms enthusiast, and longtime fan, uh, Kajasker. Kasker? Kasker? Um, P.S. Thanks again for your help with the incident. You know the one. You're the man. Um, Yes, I do know the one, and you are welcome. And you didn't need to send a gift. And you guys, the you guys from 4chan, didn't need to send a gift then. Oh my God, can I show this on air? I love. I feel like mailroom is blessed because it seems like I always open the most inane, assholeic package last. It, it, it just happens every. It's always the last package, and for some reason it works. I feel like we're doing God's work here with Mailroom TFB TV. So without further ado, I don't even know if I can show this. <laughs> so thank you for my new AR-15 grip. Guys, thanks a ton. Sorry I've been, again, you know, it's like cyclical with the Mailroom. Sometimes I'll turn out a bunch of them. <laughs> Sometimes um, I, I don't, I go a couple of months. I know it's been a minute, and so I haven't forgotten about you guys <laughs> for TFP TV Mailroom. Keep sending them in. I got a bunch of packages inside. I go to the P.O. box still once a month. Um, so I'm gonna work through them, I guess, five or six at a time. So anyways, guys, thanks a ton, appreciate it. Thank you for the, I'm gonna build, look at this. It's gonna be a custom TFB TV AR-15. It's gonna be perfect. Maybe send in a few more components. You guys wanna send in, uh, if you've got any stock ideas, um, any forearm ideas, uh, you know what? We'll make that a little running project for you guys. I will assemble an AR-15 with these components uh, if you keep sending them in. Anyways, guys, thanks a ton, love you. See you next week. What?